Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Today we are located in Northwest Palm Bay, Florida. Kind of a little bit out in the sticks and stuff. Now, everybody out here is on septic system and a good share of people are on well water. Well, we came out here because a customer is claiming that their house is backed up and uh, they can't flush their toilets. So let's take a look and see what we got to do. So we are located in the back of the house here. Uh, over there where my partner's standing, you see the stir machine, there's a clean out. And the septic is way over here. Just tell me the drain field runs across there. Let me run through a few things before we get started. On this part of the county, uh, kind of like everyone else that lives out in the sticks and is on septic and everything, um, there's a few things to keep in consideration. We're in the middle of June right now and it is the rainy season, so we've had a whole lot of rain. What does that equate to? The possibility that the drain field may be saturated with water and it's holding inside that tank and not allowing it to leach out. We're going to go ahead and we're going to open this clean out cap up and find out if there's standing water in there. Then we know that our problem is somewhere from the clean out to the septic. Oh yeah, look at that. She's holding water, okay. And the customer says that both the bathrooms are backed up, can't flush them or anything. So this is where we need to start with our snake and try to run it towards the septic. Now there's only one septic tank on the property, uh, which collects the gray and the black. We'll talk about that another time. Usually it'll come out of the house and then the tank will be somewhere near. But one of the issues I see going on here that I think may be the problem, maybe it's gonna be a good thing for the customer, is this line comes out and it travels all the way over to the septic over there. So I imagine there's gonna be some bends in here and maybe there's a clog somewhere in between that and there. She told me that they had a graduation party and there was a bunch of people here, so um, yeah. Uh, my boss will only allow me to run the sewer snake up to the septic tank. Once it gets to the tank, that's it. I'm not allowed to go any further. And she said that back in January, which has been about five months ago, that the septic people were out here and they pumped the tank. So we're gonna try to run this sewer snake from the clean out towards the septic and see if we can unclog whatever the problem is. All right, I'm almost 15 feet in. I've got another length. We're gonna hook that on. I've hit some sort of a bend because I can't push it in by hand anymore. We're gonna hook it to the machine and see if that water's... We're almost 30 feet, we're about 25 feet in, so I'm getting close to the mouth of the septic tank. I saw that water come up and down a few times, but it seems to be just meandering right there. It may have to run just a little bit more. The last thing I want to do, though, is get my snake stuck up in that tank. So I'll be right back after I get one more length.
so I believe that our snake has made it to the septic. The water level has started going down some in here. Let me just run this a minute. All right, so we have some action happening. That water's gone way down. We're starting to get a little bit of flow going on here. Uh, you can kind of see it if I can zoom that in a little bit. The water is moving slowly. So I believe that we hit some sort of a clog. We're gonna go ahead and pull that snake back out and see if there's anything hung up to it so we can get a better flow the rest of the way into the tank. There we go, see that? Moving nice. tank that's some grease yeah hair more hair yeah beautiful sight that baby's running good now uh, i'm gonna get the customer to flush out the toilets and all that other good stuff and see if everything's operating properly all right i got the customer I'm gonna go flush all three of the toilets inside let's go back here to clean out real quick and take a look and see what kind of performance we have Steady water flow. So it's very important, even though those toilets all flush and everything, I got the customer going in to flush them all again. So if there was any business that was hung up left underneath the house in the lines, we're going to get rid of all of it right now. I don't know if you guys heard me mention earlier about getting a snake inside of a tank and stuff. You don't want that to happen because it'll go in there and bow tie on itself. And it's really hard to get that thing out of the tank. And I'll show you why I knew I was in the tank. Check out the end of my snake. Big old wad of hair. That was not what caused the clog. That was just in the tank from showers and stuff. As well as a hunk of stuff right there that had grease and everything. So, yeah. All right, let's take a second review. Not all septic stoppages are alike. We got lucky in this one. It was a 50-50 chance, because a lot of times when you come out, you open up the clean out, and you see water, you can run that snake up to the tank, and nothing happens because the tank is full. The customer told us that back in January, they had the tank pumped, uh, and they've been living there for 17 years, and they only had the tank pumped three times. So that was kind of telling me, all right, it's probably not the tank related, but in the rainy season, south of us in Southeast Palm Bay, a lot of those houses are flood prone and those drain fields can get completely saturated through the summer months they called the septic guys come out they pump the tank and as fast as they can pump that water out of the tank it's filling back up from all that water that's soaked out there in the drain field this wasn't the case this time be mindful and stuff and don't ever run your snake through that clean out into the tank and get it stuck because it'll end up bow tying itself and you may have a really hard time getting that snake pulled right back out of there be mindful be careful got any questions leave them down below and don't forget to keep plumbing